<laughs> looking for change, looking for pain Pulling a mob, pushing a train I'll never stop, stick to a lane Pick up the pieces and go rearrange uh, I'll be the best above all the rest Put me to the test and Expect nothing less, you check as I'm chess What's happening next? You could try to play, but you're never gonna be me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Bloody hands break through the chains, go free me Today I'm getting an opportunity to spend an afternoon training with Zhongshan's fire and rescue team. I can't tell you how cool this is. I mean, how many people get an opportunity to do something like this, right? So this is one of Zhongshan's training areas, and I'm gonna get a chance to train with him. I, <laughs> now I'm an old man, but I can't wait to do this. Xiao Liao Xiao Liao Ah, nice to meet you. Thank nice you for doing it. Nice to meet you. All right, cheers, uh, man. And uh, what's your name? Yang uh, Zhuying. Uh, Thank you very much for showing us around, man. Thank you very much. This is going to be a lot of fun. You look sharp, man. This is beautiful. Xiao Liao. Yeah, all right, very good. I arrived right at the right time. These guys are doing some uh, rappelling on the tower and also some uh, exterior climbing. It was a very interesting rescue operation they just performed. Or, yeah. Two guys rappelled down a victim in a harness and then took them back up. So they're going to have to climb these stairs with hoses on them. Yeah, these guys got to move fast. Get them in the harness. All right, so now they're gonna be in this getup and my job is to climb the rope. I haven't done this in about 20 years. <laughs> so, so this is my coach. <laughs> it looks easier than it really is, especially in these pants, which are a little tight on me. Okay, so safety. Behind me, uh, this is the main driveway, right? But you can see here there's a traditional Chinese garden right here at the fire station. Oh, it, As a special treat, they've actually asked me to come and eat lunch with the team. Look at the food that these guys eat. All right. Yeah. All right. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. How you doing? Hello. So you can see these guys, they not only cook for themselves, but they clean, yeah. of course, just like in the world. Yeah. Very self-sufficient here at the firehouse. So they've actually invited me into the fireman's lounge. This is where they kind of hang out and, and rest. And it's really cool. I don't think anyone's ever been given access to this before. Very, very nice. A tea set. Look at this. They've got like traditional calligraphy art station. They got drums and guitars. You can, <laughs> I got a little home band here in the, in the fire station, of course. Computer labs, movies, lots and lots of books. Even some arts and crafts. Well, why not? They got a load of trucks here. Fire engines, they call them, right? Of course, you have the engines up here, the giant blaster. <laughs> and uh, these are the ladder trucks. I don't know, are they ladder trucks or crane trucks nowadays? I'm not quite sure, but check this out. Fire and rescue. 
Now that is very cool. I'd love to see them in action with this. Well, all the equipment is brand new and the materials, considering the protection that it needs to give someone, it's very lightweight. I need to lose some weight, maybe. <laughs> well, it's hot. It is hot, yeah. It's very warm in here. Now they actually want me to compete and see how fast if I can beat them in, in getting these clothes on. I don't think I can. Fair. These guys have had years of training and they do it every day. I have never done this in my life. Let's do it, brother. Okay. But I feel very, actually pretty comfortable. And considering how much weight I am holding right now, it feels pretty movable. I mean, I can move around pretty good, but I can't imagine doing this in the middle of a summer or in the middle of a fire. My God, man, good job, buddy. Uh, thank you so much. Man. We're gonna get to find out how long it actually takes for them to get suited up in these on the truck and out the door. Now we're gonna get to see them do a full exercise of them coming down, getting their gear on and getting out the door. It's gonna be really exciting. Check this out. Two of them in this car, over there, getting the engines on. Everyone else over here is getting ready to go. That was really, really fast. I mean, <laughs> I was very impressed at how quick they were able to to get all of their stuff on and get out the door. Everybody, all right, hey, that's, cool. that's cool, that's cool. Uh, all the equipment in here, lights, walkie talkies. <laughs> all right, so the guys, Got me in their getup. I can breathe okay in this. It actually fits me pretty snug. These are not running shoes, let me tell you that right now. <laughs> gonna show us how the how they put the, the hoses together and run them down to a fire that's on the other side of the <laughs> This is a lot of fun, but running around in this in gear, and it's not even a hot day. I gotta give it up to these guys. They do a lot of great work. I have to say this, I am living every little boy's fantasy right now. I know it was my fantasy when I was a little boy to be a fireman. I always thought they were so cool. They had the coolest toys. Who didn't have a little fire truck when you were growing up, right? <sighs> now today, I get to live that dream myself.
So this training facility here, in addition to the towers and everything, they also have individual rooms where they have different scenarios for fire and rescue. And of course, I'm gonna have to go in there here in a second. Yeah. This is a crawl space simulation. And they will turn off all the lights with flashing probes and have some smoke and it's trying to simulate real life crawl spaces. And they have to navigate this maze up and down the cages just like they would in a crawl space in a uh, tight building. Very, very cool. Uh, so in here, this simulates. So they have fire yeah. in here. Oh, yeah. fire coming from in, in there. Okay. Oh, that's a bed. Okay. Yeah, I see the bed and the... Okay. So a burning bedroom. Okay. Yeah. There's so many things that uh, can help the firefighter can uh, practice so if they if they face the real real emergency, mm -hmm. they can have the yeah, it's very real simulation. Yeah. So they get yeah. they get sensitized yeah. to yeah, they can understand yeah. what it's understand. like. Now we're headed up these stairs. Of course, everything is dark in here to simulate a real power outage. And this looks like another room. There's a bed in the corner over here. VR simulator. Huh? So you can see here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a KTV. <laughs> All right, KTV. All right. So, oh, look at this. They even have a, they even have a microphone. Okay. And then the next room over here. This, this is yeah. So a, sto a stove. They can turn off the lights because it's fire. Yeah. So this is the, this is where the stove. Okay. The control room and the monitoring room where they control all the different rooms, the fire. Some night cameras there so they can monitor everything. Yeah. Uh, this earthquake. Oh, okay. Yeah. Earthquake. Simulates an earthquake. You see the gap and... Yeah, I can see it. That's very, very interesting. This is obviously a slanted building. Everything inside is at an angle and it's for, you know, earthquakes, collapsed buildings, Searching for survivors. It's incredibly disorienting in there. Do you want to try? Oh, I can see the stairs. Whoa! Look at that. Yeah, it's quite an incline. At least 45 degrees. We're just standing here. You wouldn't think of it, but I can imagine with all that gear on and trying to perform rescue kind of situations. Being in a crooked house like this, just trying to walk around, very, very disorienting. So in about 20 seconds, he's going to be able to simulate going from this roof to that roof. From there to there, on a line, the aim is 20 seconds. There he goes. He's like a spider monkey. <laughs> Look how fast he is, man. I can't move that fast. That is a lot harder than it looks, let me try. You. So this is an interesting contraption. This here is what the firefighters use to, to uh, simulate doors, uh, different types of doors, wooden doors, uh, metal doors, and how to open them and break in for rescue. So they use tools like this. So of course, these are the jaws of life. truck this is I don't know how many tons this is but the whole thing gets lifted up for stability completely suspended look at that yes I'm gonna get to go on top of that <laughs> dad there are heights here so it goes up and then the platform will extend out 
And then it goes even higher. 45 meters into the air, I'm told. Look at that. So as a special treat, these guys have uh, agreed to let me go up as high as it can go. So we're getting powered up. And notice these giant hoses here will actually get hooked up to an external water source and then out that spout right there. Where it'll extend up from the truck itself way down there. Look at that. Oh, what a view from up here. So together in tandem with the operator down there and these controls right here, they can get just the right angle and distance away from the flames that they need it. So we're about 40 to 45 meters into the air right now with a 360 degree view of the city. What an incredible tool that they have at their disposal to help those in need. So a very special thanks to the Zhongshan Fire and Rescue Team for allowing me to train with them. They are really, really great guys. After spending the day with these guys, you know, eating with them, hanging out with them, training with them, them teaching me everything they know, I truly feel blessed and I'm grateful for the work that they do. You know, they put their lives on the lines to be first responders to protect us. They don't get the credit that they deserve and I think that we should continue to thank them every chance that we get. Speaking on a personal level, I'm grateful for these guys uh, here in my city of Zhongshan, but I'm grateful for firefighters all around the world. And then I want to also thank them for allowing me to live out a little childhood fantasy of becoming a firefighter for the day. That was a lot of fun. Until the next one, all of you, stay safe out there. You could try to play, but you're never gonna beat me. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me. Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me. Looking for change, looking for pain. Pulling a mob, pushing a train. I'll never stop, stick to a lane. Pick up the pieces and go rearrange. Yeah. I'll be the best above all the rest, put me to the test. Yeah. Expect nothing less, you check as I'm chess, what's happening?